Hello guys, I've, uh, this is the tutorial by Cube Design on how to create uh, cracked 3D text on the Cinema 4D. So first of all you have to download Xbreaker, it's gonna be, the link is going to be in the description. And once you've downloaded it, you have to go on your uh, program files if you have a PC, or in my case, you have a Mac. You have to go on your finder, uh, you have this Maxon, we're already Maxon, Cinema 4D. Got to go in library, script, okay? This is the one, script. And you're gonna see that I have save as template and xbreaker171. So this is the plugin you want to, uh, this is the thing that you wanna drop in scripts, library, max and cinema 4D. So just drop it in there and uh, everything's gonna be cool. You have to restart your cinema 4D probably to uh, make this uh, plugin pop up. But yeah, just do it, and once you have it, everything is cool, and we can start editing. Yo guys, what's up? Cube here. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, create a text like this one, all shattered. As you can, uh, as you may have seen in many BGs on YouTube backgrounds, you can see all this shattered text. So let's make it quick, cause the previous video was 12 minutes, so I don't want to make it 12 minutes again. I'm gonna make it down to half. I hope. So we go ahead and open Cinema 4D. <clears throat> this is on a Mac, but you can do the same on a PC. We're gonna go on render settings, general output 120 to 720, uh, current frame, because we wanna just make a picture. Go and uh, save it in here. Tor tutorial, yes. Uh, JPEG, Alpha Channel, uh, Antalizing, just gonna make it best and gonna make it still image because it's just gonna be a frame. And there we are. <clears throat> so now we're gonna go on MoGraph and create a text object. Let's just put, um, I don't know, tutorial, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna crank up, wait. First, put it in the middle here. Crank up the depth to uh, 150, I guess, because make it nice and uh, nice and depthy. Choose a font. I'm going to choose this one. This is our uh, text now. So go a bit lower. Okay. Now we have our text. If we go on render, nothing's going to happen. Just the text. And. Um, so now we have our text and we have to go on plugins, user script, X breaker. There you have it. So um, this plugin, you're going to see it on uh, the channel description. You're going to find the link to it, to download it. So we're going to open X breaker. Um, we're going to choose the pieces that our text is going to fall into. We're going to choose uh, 25 pieces to break apart. It's going to choose break now. Be sure you have uh, selected your text before breaking it, so it's going to break that text and not anything. So it's processing. Okay, there we go. We have all these texts now that are divided in 25 pieces. So we can delete this text object, it doesn't really do nothing. But we want to spread out the pieces now. So we're going to select all of these with CTRL. I'm gonna go on MoGraph and you're gonna go on Random Effector. As you can see now, it's all messed up, all in different places. This is because the strength here is 200%, but if we wanna lower this down to uh, a range between seven, let's say, and 11. So I'm gonna put it to nine. And um, there we go. So now the effect is pretty, you know, cracked, I guess. <laughs> and um, when you go on plugins as breaker and you break the text, you're gonna see these two uh, materials the inside cut and the outside cut. So, we're gonna choose the, those colors, gonna add a luminance, make it look cool, a nice uh, red luminance with lum uh, red color as well. So, we have no problems. As you can see, it's very nice. And uh, outside cut, we're gonna choose dark gray 
not black as well. It's gonna, gonna, you're not going to see that. So dark gray. If you go ahead and render this, you're going to see that the text is done. It's pretty much done. Uh, all you can see is the text with uh, the cracks in the middle and uh, stuff. So that's pretty much it. I'm just going to make it look nicer now. Um, put this light a bit further and create a new light and put it inwards and put it a bit higher okay and um, we're gonna add a floor and a sky I'm gonna select all these words and uh, bring them up oh wait sure. select all these words and bring them up a bit in case some of them touch the floor and fuse into the floor so I'm gonna select all push the Y and uh, let's see what's the limit. This is okay. I'm gonna choose a random color. Put the luminance up to up to it. Make it drop it on the floor and on the sky. Go ahead and render this. Better be kind of cool. Then we're gonna run the settings and you're gonna <clears throat> add an effect that's called ambient occlusion and global illumination. Uh, ambient occlusion and global illumination uh, lead to shadows and cool stuff. So I'm gonna put the maximum wavelength length up, up, and the contrast to 35 can makes it look <clears throat> cooler in my opinion. And uh, if we're gonna render this, it's gonna take a bit more time. But yeah, that was pretty easy. So you make text, you go, you select the text, you go on plugins, X breaker. I choose the pieces you want to break into it into you choose break now it's gonna break it up then you choose all the words all the letters and you go on MoGraph random effector make sure you have all the words selected random effector then you um, just um, mess around with the strength and see what goes best for you and um, pretty much it so then you go just copy that image put it on Photoshop linear dodge and uh, just put it into your BG. Uh, it's a pretty cool effect that makes it more professional in my opinion makes it look cooler so um, I'm gonna definitely stick to this one for my uh, new background as it's on his way and uh, news now I always make I always well I've started making intros now so if any of you guys want an intro you have to just PM me, send me a message, subscribe of course, and uh, give me subs, and I'll do one for you. Just uh, give me time because I have lots of work to do and stuff, so I won't be available 24 hours a day. But here we go. This is our text, as you can see, it's, and finished. And with the global illumination, I'm doing occlusion. You can see the shadows that are really realistic, and uh, this is a text all uh, cranked up. As you can see okay and uh, yeah this is pretty much it this was a tutorial by cube for cube designs this is my first one hope you enjoyed just uh, subscribe like and comment for any things you have to say or any doubts questions you have okay peace up boys thanks a lot